Hello YouTubers. Probably wondering what I'm doing with this here. This is a barometer, particularly a fishing barometer. <clears throat> More importantly, the type of the barometer is what's known as an aneroid barometer. Now, why is a barometer important in a survival situation? I'll tell you. Because a barometer, especially if you're out in the woods or an area for a week, a month, um, in a truly a uh, dire situation where, say, society is collapsed and you're going to be outside or in the elements for a good long time. It's not going to be radio. It's not going to be TV. Certainly nothing uh, organized. Um, a barometer is a good way to predict an oncoming storm or bad weather. In the 20s and the 30s, it was not uncommon for people to actually carry small barometers, pocket barometers, with them. You see them all the time on eBay, hundreds of years old, you know, late 1800s, mid 1800s, small aneroid barometers. That's how they knew when the bad weather was coming in. They knew how to read those. It's something we've lost in this modern society. We just turn on the news and or check the weather channel and, and hey, well, there's what the weather's going to be. Well, that might not always be there. So what does a barometer actually do? It measures atmospheric pressure. I'm not going to go into all the details of millibars and, and all that. I will tell you <clears throat> that a barometer is good to have to tell you when bad weather is coming in. Normally, bad weather starts in the neighborhood of anything below 29.9. Now, if you notice my barometer here is, is just slightly below 29.9. I have the second needle. The, the gold needle there is the standard needle. Of Basically, that doesn't move. The, the, the red needle is what moves. I just checked uh, www.weather.gov, which is the National Weather Service, for my area. And the barometric pressure is 29.9. This measures, this is pretty close. These are not as accurate as... Some of the nicer weather stations you see that you can put on your wall. This is right now showing 29.8, but it's pretty close. And what you do is, if you want to know what your pressure is in your area when you get one of these, you go to like weather.gov and you set your barometer towards to where you are. It is set by elevation. If you go to a different place, different altitude, this one doesn't show the altitude, but if you can get an idea of what the pressure is in that area, you can figure it out. Now, how a barometer works is decreasing barometric pressure indicates you know that you're going to get storms, rainy weather, high winds, whatever. Rising pressure means you're going to have good dry weather. Right now it's it's about 80 degrees out. It's very nice. You can see the barometer is reflecting that. Uh, a quick drop in pressure over a short period of time, real real fast. I mean it doesn't drop like within that needle's not going to go from one side to the other in a few seconds. If it did, you were in serious trouble. But it, it doesn't drop that fast. But if you keep an eye on it and over a period of hours, it drops from like 29.9 to say 29.4, 29.5. You're going to have a storm coming in, and it's going to be a pretty good one. You're talking five to six hours. You've got some time. You have time to prepare. At least make a rudimentary shelter. Get into a shelter as quick as you can because that could be a thunderstorm in like the Midwest, that could be something a lot stronger and down in Florida, could be, could be a hurricane. Remember, if you're in a survival situation, no radio station, no weather channel, um, you're gonna need something like this. It's actually, and these are, these are fairly cheap, they're about 20 bucks, they're good to have. Um, if you have a large, low, slow and sustained drop of decreasing pressure, you're going to have a long period of rain. It's not, it's, you're basically, you have a storm front coming in. If you have a really sharp increase in pressure, that means that later on, keep an eye on your barometer, it's probably going to go down again, and it's going to have a sharper drop. It means you're expecting, it, it's atmospheric pressure. You're expecting more weather coming in, bad weather, but it's going to be further away. It's going to be later on. These things are wonderful to have in a survival situation. You know, and they're not very big. Keep, they're, like I said, and this is nice hard rubber right here. This thing is very, very tough. I got it for like $18 online. That was included the shipping. 
And yes, it's good for fishing. So, I mean, that is a dual purpose, but that's not why I got it. I got it because if you're going to be out in a situation where you're going to be away from radio for a long period of time, out in the weather, this is going to be able to tell you if you have bad weather coming in. Winter time, this is going to this is going to fluctuate because you you might get snow, cold weather, but get one of these. Go online, type in you know barometric pressure. It'll show you all you need to know how to learn how to read one of these. They're not hard to use. This thing is fairly simple. If you can operate even if you can set your watch, you can use this. It's not hard to use, and it could possibly save your life. Get one of these. They're cheap. You don't have to buy the nice big weather stations. I do recommend if you're going to be in a home for, you know, have one in your house. Have Get a weather station. Put it on your wall. It was nothing for the old timers. My grandfather had one on his wall for years to have a, a barometer. They used to call them weather stations because they had a, they usually had a thermometer built in with it. You see them in a brass setting. You'd hit like one or two next to each other. Get one of those for your house. They're not expensive. They're like $35, $40 at the most. They can possibly save your life, especially if you're out. If you're out somewhere, get something like this. Again, they're cheap. They're not expensive, but they can save your life. There's something that a lot of people probably would not consider. I recommend them. So go get one, learn how to use it, you know, and go from there.